Good afternoon, everyone. This is Melissa with the stockswoosh.com and welcome. Thought I would just do another review here on Facebook. Um, basically, Facebook, I was looking at this for the last couple of you know days, and uh, the targets for this are still intact. Someone had tweeted about this with the targets. The targets on this are still intact. You're not in Facebook for a day trade going long right now. You should be in Facebook for a swing trade to the bigger targets, which is 40 and 42, and next one's $50 and 65 by the end of the year. These are swing and core trade targets. So, you know, when I say a target in something, it's not always for the day. It's a swing trade if I'm giving a bigger target in something, unless you're day trading it. The days to day trade Facebook were the day of the actual gap. And then there were two days after the fact to day trade this here, and then one day in here, you know, which I called. So, you day trade, you're looking for targets. If they don't get to the target by the end of the day, then it's a swing trade if you want to hold it overnight, which a swing trade is several days or could be even 10 days, could be even two weeks. A core trade is something you're in for weeks or months or even years, okay, which you could certainly be in Facebook as a core long after this guy. Or a swing trade or you're day trading in between here. The targets for this are intact. You cannot expect something to go to a target immediately, and if it doesn't go to the target immediately, you kill it. I know lots of people think, you know, I have a crystal ball because I'm so good in my calls and things. I do feel like some days I do that, have that. However, it's really just my gap rating system that's telling me things in the crystal ball, and because of my knowledge and skills as a trader, uh, which is, you know, which is a lot. But the reality is you can't just you know, give up on something if it doesn't go immediately to the target. Things have multiple targets. This is something else you have to learn as a trader. Not everything goes to a certain set target. There are levels, levels of targets, just like there's levels of support and resistance in a chart. And you're looking for the first target, the second target, and so on and so forth, and what I call the dream target. Of course, the dream target on Facebook is $100. I don't think it gets there by the end of this year. I think it's realistic in the next 12 to 16 months. So Facebook is still intact and the market has pulled in for the last two days. And Facebook is holding itself beautifully. In fact, it's holding this area here. So the gap happened, the stock rallied up, pushed up on even higher. Here, then the market came in the next day. This was yesterday on the 6th. Market came in today a little bit too and Facebook held very strong. The low of the day here is 37.70. The high of this bar here is 37.96. But the open of this bar here, um, or the close, I mean, was 37.62. So the close of this green bar here is 37.62. We held that today when we came in and made this tail. Do you see this? And remember, these are areas. And the open of this bar here is 66. Again, areas. So Facebook came down with the market to the teeniest, weeniest, weeniest bit of support that it could possibly set. So this is rally up here. Comes down, this was resistance, now it's support, holding itself up, and it's higher. So Facebook will get to the target of $40 and $42 and so on and so forth. These are targets that are set if you want to do a swing trade or core trade, okay? So Facebook is still great long. And actually, even you could have bought it in here today. Uh, you know, I made note of this when this happened here because this was barely coming in here. Didn't even break the 200 in the 15 minute where the market was sloshing around this morning or in the last two days. So beautiful Facebook. If you don't want to hold these things as overnights, then don't. Just day trade them. You have to know how to take the entries and where to put the stops and where to get in them at the right price points for a day trade. In other words, Facebook, when it came into this area here of support and held itself and the market made the low of the day as well, you could have bought Facebook in here. It was a good buy and you could have made money as a day trade here today. You have to know where to take the entry. Facebook has already rallied more than a dollar here today from where it booped down in here and made this 15 minute buy setup. And where it bottomed out, let's see if we can see it better on the one here. see what time it did it. Here, so when it came down hard here at 10 o'clock, bounced up, came in, bounced up, came in, here was here was it. So the safe entry would have been over here. Okay, safe entry, bigger, bigger stop. Okay, or you take it again here when it confirms 
and doesn't break a new low and you already know this area, here's the area that's important. You're looking for this to hold. When it comes down and comes down and holds, you can take it as a long. And it was a nice trade. So if you'd like more information on how to read gaps and rate gaps, you can reach out to me and email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day.